channel, you guys. Today we have a seafood boil for you guys. We have crawfish, shrimp, snow crab, king crab, mussels, clams, sausage, potato, a lot. And rice. Rice and cucumbers today. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are we're going all out. So bon appetitis. Bon appetit. Let's get started. You want a Dr. Pepper, right? Yes, please. I'm gonna have a Fanta. Oh my god. I've had a Fanta. It's so so good. I think the last time I had a Fanta was um BC. Bun gun? That place? Mom. Oh, was that yeah, like in twenty fourteen? Yeah. What? Or was that star? Isn't there another orange flavored? It's like, no, I don't know. My neighbor's having a party, so if you guys hear anything, it's my neighbor's. Oh, I thought you were trying to do ASMR. I was like, oh, we're doing <laughs> ASMR. Do you love it? Okay, let's get started because I'm so excited. I cannot handle it. I'm losing <laughs> control. Do you need this? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Gracias, mom. Here, mom, mom, mom. Thank you. Oh, you remember? Oh, oh, oh yes. We have a yes, tradition. Yes, yes. We have a tradition yes. here, people. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you wanted me to do I can do it. You can do it. I can do it. I can do it. You want the big crumbs, the little crumbs? No, little crumbs. Little crumbs. Little crumbs. Hold on, give me a second. Do we say a little crumb? Like. I got it. Oh, baby girl, little, little less. Do no, little less. Little less. Crazy, crazy girl. Little less. See? Yeah, little less. You are great. There we go. That's it? Yeah, that's it, girl. No way. A little more, a little See, more. What? Thank you, mom. No way. Yeah. We have lime today instead of lemon. Lemon. <laughs> we have lime. <laughs> They're under there somewhere. What are? The limes. Oh my gosh. Let me know if you see one. Yeah, here. Here you go. Thanks, mom. My goodness. Bon appetit. The shrimps have such a beautiful pink hue. <sighs> you guys, we're so excited for this. I already had like six bites before, but it's fine. <laughs> she did. Can I have a napkin, Mom? No. Please. Mmm. <laughs> no. Thank you. Okay. You guys, I'm wearing my Taylor Swift shirt. Surprise, surprise. Are you so excited? Oh, wait, you don't care. About what? But you should pretend like you care. About what? About the Taylor Swift concert oh. being on No, Amazon. I do care. You do? I do. I don't know if Michelle's fake or not, but I'm very excited for December 13th. I'm watching. I'm kind of jealous you're going to watch it because I wanted to watch the whole like. Wait, really? Because I feel like it's going to be so cool to see everything close up. Oh, shoot. What? Should I wait for you? No, 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 no. no Mom, no. no. Uh, I'm okay watching it a second time. Oh, well, then there you go. No, oh. but then you would have to rent it again. I don't care. Uh, I'll do it. I know, it's $20 to rent. And she got to make money somehow. Make money somehow? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, why do you think she's a billionaire? Because she makes money somehow. Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, no, I will literally rent it again to watch mm, with you. Mmm, the clams are bomb. Mmm. We also have seafood sauce down here, you guys. Mmm. -mm. I'll put it in my bowl too. Actually, I'm gonna do that. I am kind of sad because I saw, I didn't go see it yet, but I want to. Um, Beyonce's movie. Oh, yes. So I like the concept of Beyonce's movie because you got to see like the making of and like the planning. Like, I love behind the scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wish that Taylor Swift did that. Like, I would love to see like. Like, I love watching her write her songs. Mm -hmm. She's truly talented, you yes, know? Yes, I agree. Like, I love that documentary she did on Netflix. What was that called? Americana? Uh, Miss Americana. Yeah. I think I've watched it like six times already. I know. I would... <laughs> we watched it again that one time. We did. <laughs> um, I'm not a huge Taylor Swift fan, but I she is an amazing artist. She's extremely talented. I'm really, really excited to watch it on the 13th. I'm excited for you. And then we'll watch it again when you're over. I want you to experience <gasps> it alone. I want you to experience it. I got my cardigan. I'm ready. Fully soak it, soak it in. 
Oh my gosh, I haven't had your rice in so long with this sauce. And I'm really excited. I hope I made it okay. Oh my god, I love mom, the clams. The you, freaking rice, you always have it on oh, point. Oh, thanks, mom. Oh my god, we didn't start with sausage, rice, and cucumber. We're so hungry, we forgot. Oh, my bad. Here, what well, kind of sausage? Do you have a sausage? There was sausage. A rice. <laughs> mm, rice? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Cucumber. She's been into breaking her kilo. <laughs> mm. Mmm. 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 Bomb! Inhale it wrong and it's over. Over. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, fancy is good. Wait, so Beyonce's, sorry. <laughs> so Beyonce's documentary is in theaters right now? Yes. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I was never a Beyonce fan. No, not like an anti fan. Just, I know, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, like, I was never, like, a big, like, oh, I'm a part of the beehive or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Called, right? I know exactly what you're saying. I'm on the same boat. I don't know too much about mm -hmm. her music. I really admire her as an artist, as mm -hmm. a mother, as a businesswoman. Yeah. She's Beyonce. <laughs> I love her. Mm-hmm. But if she ever showed up at my door, I'd probably pee myself. I mean, I'd be in awe of her. Yeah. But I, I never, like, followed... I love her like journey. I love how private she is. So private. Mm -hmm. So, so, so private. I think um, watching the little snippets of her and Blue Ivy during her like documentary. Oh, so I heard cool. it was emotional because Blue Ivy got like picked on or something. Yeah, they yeah. made fun of her for her first one. Yeah, I remember that. My only concern was doesn't she have school? No. I remember messaging Michelle and I was like, Michelle doesn't blue I have school. <laughs> Michelle was like, Mom, they're rich. They I'm they, like Beyonce? They probably have a, a teacher on tour with 1, them. One thousand percent. Yeah. That girl. But how know. crazy is it to say what she's twelve? Eleven? Eleven, I think, or twelve, yeah. She toured with her mom mm -hmm. who is Beyonce. Her mom's Beyonce. How do you even does she get it? I'm like, do you really get it? But they will they won't. Someone who lives that life. You don't think, you know? You just can't. You cannot understand. I think it depends on how the parents raise her. But even then, knowing, mm. like, my mom is Beyonce. Right. That's crazy. I get your time. Your kid will walk around going, my mom's Kim Tai. She eats seafood for a living. <laughs> what you think about that? <laughs> you guys, I've been so into the clams lately. Like, what? did we accidentally get clams once and we're like obsessed mm -hmm. now? I do remember that. You got one for fun, I think. I was like, Michelle, just one pound. Oh my gosh, so good though. Lately, Carlos and I have been watching, um... <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Sorry, it's just... I know what's <laughs> coming. Just... What do you think it's coming? 90 Day Fiance! Yes! You guys, if you haven't watched 90 Day Fiance, you're missing out. It is so interesting. And don't think that it's just one show. No. They... It's a whole franchise, you guys. It is a whole franch fa franchise, <laughs> first of all. But whoever casts, whoever's in charge of the casting team for 90 Day Fiance, I'm like, where do you find these couples? First of all, they're so interesting. And they all have such an interesting storyline. Do they, like, go in themselves? Oh. Um, you know like, I mean? get volunteered? Yeah, like, does a friend just, like, put in their application? Do they do it themselves? Do they get like maybe? How do they get scouted? Okay, so right now Michelle, Carlos, and I are watching the current 90 Day Fiance episode or uh -huh. season. Uh -huh. It's the one um, with the Korean guy. It's the one with the Korean guy and the girl from Arkansas. I don't. I'm not too good with names because there are so many couples. Jasmine's in America. Jasmine's in America. Yeah. She just started crying in the yeah. rain or whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna conquer this. Okay, take a big one, Mom. I'm gonna get one for you. Take, a, take that one. The middle one's the biggest. Take that one. They're both the same. I'll give you one. Okay. Um, it is so good. Hold on. Mm. Let me see if I can open one for you. 
love that for me. So you love stuff in your face? Yeah. Me too. I think it's good for your skin. It is. Really? <laughs> well, in that case, gotta <laughs> get us. Oh, shit. Dang, best friend. The mm -hmm. only issue is getting... No, no, no. So what I, I, what I learned, uh -huh. bite that end. But I'm going to give it to you. Oh, okay. Gracias, Mom. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Oh my god, it's cold. Is it okay? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, Mom. I have Pepto Bismol. It's great. It's great. A lot of people eat snow crab cold. Oh, yeah. They ice it, remember? This piece of hair. What is going on? Oh my god. Mm. Mm. I, I didn't want Michelle to miss out on that sweetness. Do you Mom. love it? Yeah. Oh my I got my god. hands dirty, girl. Don't even worry. I got you. Anyways, 90 Day Fiance. You guys should yes. watch it. We're a current. Now, here's the thing. Since Michelle is not here on the weekdays and we like all hang out on the weekends, it airs every Sunday. So we don't watch the show when Michelle's not here. But uh, the other day, Carlos found 90 Day Fiance the other way. <laughs> Do you guys know what that means? It's 90 Day Fiance, but the US, uh, the US, the significant other that lives in the US moves to the foreign country to live there. Mm -hmm. It's chaotic. Mm -hmm. It's got drama. It's juicy. You learn so many new. Thank you, mom. Wow. Thank you. It got stuck. It got stuck. <laughs> you learn so many things. Okay, so. Oh, that. The ends are very salty. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the current 90 Day Fiance the other way, we're on season four, I believe. I don't know why. So, here's the thing Carlos turned it on for like shit and giggles. Mm -hmm. We did not think that we would like it, so we just randomly chose season four. Every season. <laughs> we chose a random one. Out of five seasons, we chose season four. Oh my god. Every season is different. There's like different couples in every season. Yeah. But in this season, what's interesting is like I learned so much from this show, like so much. So, there is this couple. His name is Gabe. And his fiance lives in, um, oh, I think it's Colombia. His fiance lives in Colombia, I believe. Well, I might be wrong. No, I think she lives in Colombia. Yeah, I think she lives in Colombia. Okay. okay, I could be wrong. But anyways, Gabe was born um, with women uh, genitals. <gasps> Gabe was born a woman. Oh. Yeah, so Gabe is a man now, but Gabe was born a woman. Like trans? Yeah. Oh, okay. And in the last like 10 years, mm -hmm. Gabe was transitioning into a man. Okay. And um, I learned, so usually when, from this is what I learned from the show from Gabe. Um, from Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> from Gabe. Usually when women, and I'm so sorry if I'm using the, the wrong terminology or I, I, I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. Um, so usually when women transition into... A man, the first thing they usually um, surgically remove is are their boobs. Okay, that makes sense. That like makes sense, you know, yeah. um, but for Gabe, he thought that um, removing his or getting a penis was more important. Oh, so that was the first surgery he did, and then really, yeah. So then something that I learned was, so obviously he was born with a vagina. And, um, and we're like all grown ups here, so I'm gonna use proper terminology, like it, it, this is science. Yeah. Um, so he was born obviously with a vagina, so in order to uh, surgically, you know, form a penis, they take um, part of his thigh. You guys, I learned so much from the show. They take part of his thigh, because in your thigh, um, they have to find a part that has a lot of nerves. Because that's how they'll connect it to something in your reproductive system for you to get aroused. And there's like different... I'm sorry, you get aroused? Yeah, so there's like different ways that Gabe can get aroused. Either, um, either like, I think he said um, one surgery will get him aroused by like just lifting his penis. Then he'll just instantly get aroused. Or a second option is you like basically like squeeze the balls like you're pumping the penis. And that's how he gets oh. aroused. I had no idea. Wow. And I'm like, that is science. That is science. Like, regardless of what you believe, you know, for personal belief. At that the is end, like medical science. Yes, at the end yeah. of the day, like, it is very interesting that there are, like, 
surgical options out there uh, yeah. for people to no, transition. Absolutely. I agree. Yes. Because I, I never knew that. That's I what I learned. I would never know. I was that. like really excited to tell Michelle because I was like, I had no idea. Carlos and I like sat there and we were like, oh. Well, I always wondered. My God. Excuse yeah, because you know, Carlos, when we were watching the beginning of the episode, Carlos was like, wait, so like, how does he like it have to intercourse with his wife? Does he have a penis? Like, so I was like, oh, maybe it's a strap on? Well, a random question I always had was, okay, you can oh, have sex. Talk. Yeah. I was like, you can have sex. But then my thought was always like, does it do anything for you? Because mm. it does something who, like, for us who have our original genitals. So I guess his first surgery, you that guys. crazy. I guess the first surgery, the part of the thigh was, um, it, the surgery was a fail. Because the <gasps> nerves, the nerves weren't connecting to form the penis. Oh my god. So he had to go in again or something like that. Wow. I've heard that surgery is really dangerous though, no? I heard that they could lose their life. Oh. Um. But yeah. Such a good show. Wow. I learned so much. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, but when we started watching the show, he didn't come out. Um, he didn't men he didn't tell the story of him transitioning. So we had no idea. Really? No idea. Oh, wow. I have to show you. His hey, transition must be great. It was amazing because I had no idea. Carlos and I were like, what? Did his fiance know? It wasn't a surprise, right? No, she didn't know. Oh, my God. Was she okay with it? He, he obviously told her before they got serious. Oh, but, um, yeah. Wow. She didn't know. And then his her parents didn't know for, like, years. And he just came out to the parents. Are they okay? Mm -hmm. They're really supportive. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's always scary, going out, uh, coming out to the parents. I know. Anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was, like, was really interested. That was, that was, yeah, wow. I was really interested in that. Mm. Kim and Carlos will always and forever be the show people. Like We love just, TV shows. You know what is it? I genuinely don't have the patience. I want to skip everything. You have to find a good show because there are shows you love that you will watch. That's true. I think it's just because we might have different tastes in TV shows. No, but even my own mom, I like want to skip through it because I'm like, come on, get to the point. Oh my God, really? I have no patience. So you're a movie gal. Yeah. Mm. But it's funny because if I sit with you or like with someone, mm -hmm. I'll watch the whole thing. It's more fun with someone else. I just sure. can't do it alone. But except yeah. power, I said, <laughs> screw you, Carlos. I'm watching the whole entire. That's what I'm saying, though. I've seen you watch movies and shows, like even before you got with Carlos, and you would just marathon through them. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't get it. But 90 Day Fiance is just so interesting. Like, I mean, you've watched a little bit of it. Like, yeah. first of all, put yourself in these people's positions. Like, you just love someone so much that you move to a different freaking country, uh -huh. different culture, different religion. Uh -huh. you, like, I can't imagine forgetting my entire life here in the U.S. where, like, I speak English and I know how everything works. And then I move to, like, I think one of the girls moved to Egypt. Ooh. And, like, she doesn't know the language. She doesn't know anyone. She barely can leave the apartment to go get like a cup of coffee Dang. i know it's just nerve-wracking oh yeah but you learn so much from the show i just think it's very um like interesting because it's almost like all the people that we see like from america mm -hmm. are like people who are coming from like very like american backgrounds what do you mean? Like, like what? Kansas or like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm no. like, I feel like if it was like OC or like even just California in mm -hmm. general, we have so many different cultures. Mm -hmm. It's like, no wonder they have so much culture shock. Like, right. You know, they're not exposed to a lot. Right, right, right. I want to know who thought of it and then went with it. And now it's this huge thing. The amount of money they probably have, mom. How did they think of it? Or know. maybe even the person who thought of it hey, fell in love outside of America too. I thought of a good TV show when we were driving to Vegas. <gasps> oh yeah, do you remember it? I can't share it with someone's TV. Oh yeah, that's idea. true. You're right, mom. Don't share it. Yeah. Don't share it. Maybe I'll eventually share when I know my dreams won't come true. No. We go until we die. 
Don't you think it's a good idea though? I know, but who But I'm going to be tell? honest, I don't remember the concept. I do a little bit, very little, very little. You're going to have to fill in the like, spaces <laughs> because I don't know too much. I don't know about Who do we need to talk to? Mm. Books and TV. You think so? You think she can get it somewhere? She has connections. Well, I'm saying she's our only option, Mom. We don't have anybody else. It's a good game. It is a good game. Mm -hmm. She doesn't even remember all the details. I know, man. But, but it was a good game. But we were flabbergasted in the mm -hmm. car. Did you see Adele won an award? Mm-hmm. And she was like, I don't make speeches. Did you hear her speech? <laughs> yeah. She was like, here we fucking are. Thursday, 8 a.m., full glam. She was pissed about the glam. I love her. Mom, this time I'm serious. When she comes back, Isn't we're going back? to Vegas. January. I want to go to Vegas again. Hey, I'm not kidding. We're going. No, I'm not kidding. Because we have to go. I'm not getting any younger. I need it. <laughs> I need to get another shirt. Yeah. I know. Mine ripped. Ooh. What? It ripped in the laundry. Whose far is that? My husband's. Carly. <laughs> Yeah, it ripped in the laundry, Mom. You're kidding! Uh, we need to go back and get another one. And then I need to get another one and another one. I want to go to the bucket now. Oh. Her priorities and my priorities are very different. <laughs> no, but I do miss the bucket now. You guys, I'm going to be honest. Every time Michelle and I go to Vegas, I try to film a bucket now mukbang. <laughs> but I just don't know how to do it. Like, the music is loud. loud. There's so many people. Mm -hmm. There's so many people walking around. There's so many people getting food. And depending on where you sit. Thank you. Yes, I was you don't get lighting. Depending on where you sit in the entire buffet. Yep. Are there people behind me? Are they mm -hmm. gonna be like self-conscious that they're in my on in you know on mm -hmm. camera? Like, you know, like it's not gonna look good if I just like blur out my background. Yep. But I wanna get the content for you guys and show you my favorite buffet in the entire world. And then some places are extremely dark. The table, oh my god, don't even get oh, me started. Oh, the table is not it. Some of the tables are like the size of like half of this table. Yeah. So there's no way I can fit my camera. Mind you, we're getting like two plates at a time. Yeah, it, I don't, yeah. We'll have to go on like a Monday. Mm-hmm. I think last time we went on a weekend and that was dumb of us. We did, the last, <clears throat> oh my god, I almost Oh, died. that was Adele. Mm -hmm. Oh my bad, we had to go on a weekend. That was horrible. Yeah. Oh my gosh, girls and heels and tight little body con dresses. Okay. We're at the buffet, you guys. I was more worried that they wouldn't drop their tray. I was they're walking in like high ass heels. Mm -mm. Not a fan of going there on the weekend. No. Mm -mm. I don't want to do that. That's not fun. I'm all for going there on the weekday. Maybe take your mic, Mom. Ah, oh, screw my mic, man. It doesn't work half the time. I gotta figure out the settings. <laughs> I look like I went to the beach with that. You did, and you went and collected, um, you know? I'm using my, um, potato as a scooper to bring the sauce to the right. I think you did that last time. What did you think of the snow crab? Oh, I think it was so good. So sweet. Yeah. I always do this. Her rice is so good, I can't stop eating it, and then I'll get full off the rice. It's okay, Mom. At Seeger Brothers, I was going to grab us bread, because you know how my mom dips the bread in the sauce? But I thought we, we had rice, so yeah. next time. Yeah, next time. I'm actually really enjoying the rice. I haven't had your rice in a long time. You had it at Thanksgiving, no? No, because I had your soup. Oh my god. And the then rice. I had Kim's, um... The soup was so good. Invention? <laughs> the soup was so bomb at Thanksgiving, you guys. I was gonna film a whole video how to make Godel de Abondagas. Wait, did I tell you what Oma's reaction was? No, you gave me back the container and I just thought she didn't like it. <laughs> oh! No, I wanted to tell you. <laughs> oh, okay. She said it was very, very delicious. But? So this is exactly how it went down. I said, Oma, did you have the soup? And she was like, oh yeah! It was good. It tasted really good. And I was like, oh, good, good, good. Very Mexican. Yeah, it's Mexican soup, mom. <laughs> yeah. No, it was good. It was really good. I ate it. Very Mexican. Tastes very Mexican. Yes, Oma. It's a Mexican soup. That's all she said? Yeah. That's all she said. That's all she Very Mexican. Mexican. She was like, it's really good. She ate it all. Oh, okay. She ate it all in like two different portions. Oh, good. She ate it all. Good. And she was like, yeah, very, very good. 
Really Mexican. Yes, um, uh, some Mexican soup. So I've noticed in the Mexican recipes that I'm learning, yeah, all they require for seasoning is chicken bouillon <laughs> or tomato bouillon. <laughs> So it's quite easy to season, mm. you know? So then I have my sister-in-law, Miriam. Oh, this woman. Miriam, I love you. Oh my God, Miriam, I love you so much. But okay, so Miriam is, <laughs> you know, I'm not so much of a cook either. I'm a beginner. I don't, I've never been professionally trained. I don't know a lot of things in the kitchen. I kind of just really enjoy cooking. Mm -hmm. But my sister-in-law, Miriam, she has a new turkey. <laughs> she does make a really good turkey. Uh -huh. She she picks and chooses what she wants, you know, <laughs> to make. So she loves Scottle Day uh abundes. And obviously she had mine and she's like, Kim, I'm blown away. This is so good. Like, I don't understand what you do. And so we're going through the steps and we're like, okay, I'm like, okay, what's the first thing you do? Like, obviously, you start with the meatballs. And I was like, Well, you know, what do you do with the meatballs? And she was like, you know, I get some beef and I I throw, <laughs> I throw some like onions in it and then I roll it up and I put it into water. That's literally what she said, you guys. And I was like, wait, wait, hold up. Do you season the meatballs? And she was like, yeah, a little salt, a little pepper. I'm like, that's all you do? I was like, you know, like the, the chipotle, the cilantro, mm -hmm. the onions, you put the rice. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I do the rice. And I was like, okay. Oh, one. <laughs> and I was like, and then you put it into water? And she was like, yeah, I bring up water. I, I season a little salt and pepper. And I was like, you, you missed the entire tomato chipotle base? Yeah, she doesn't put tomatoes in it. Cause you're, cause in uh, the recipe that I learned, you're supposed to blend up the, um, you know, the chipotle, uh, the chipotle can, the tomatoes and the onions, the garlic, and then you pour that into water, and then you season the broth with chicken bouillon and tomato bouillon. I will never forget. You I was there. there. I was there. there, right next to Miriam, and you were like, what? What? And then, this, and then her daughter Chelsea was going off. She was like, no, it's horrible. You're supposed to put in tomatoes? Yeah. yeah. So my in my head, I'm like, oh my god, this lady puts <laughs> meatballs, like raw meatballs into water. <laughs> Boiling water. That she seasoned with salt and pepper. Yeah. yeah. And so then I told her, I was like, chicken bouillon. And I was, so she was like, I don't know what that is. I use... Remember she was, oh, like, yes, the she was like, I don't know what that is, but I used the cubes. Yes. And I was like, oh, that's basically, the same thing. I was like, that's basically the same yeah. thing. It's just in cube, but I find that the powder has is more concentrated and has better flavor yeah. than the cubes. And I can also measure yes. the spoons better. I mean, to each their own, obviously. But yeah, I have to show you guys. Um, it's very good. Very good. Now I had to improv. So I had to improvise a little bit because I was feeding like ten to twelve <laughs> people. Mm -hmm. But the recipe that I was learning from was supposed to only eat like feed like three people. Hey mom, I think you got it though. But it's good, right? I it was so it. good. Oh, it's one of my favorite soups actually. Oh my gosh. That's it. <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> Taylor got thirsty, you guys. <laughs> She's performing for three hours. She got thirsty. No mom, I love. It's good, right? It's so good. So different than what me and you like grew up with. Mm-hmm. You know? I agree. Mm -hmm. Everyone was telling me in my comments that um, they do it raw. No, they didn't really. Obviously, I didn't get all your ingredient steps on my. Oh. On my blog, so they were like, "Oh my gosh!" Like, tell him to put rice in the meatballs and like. Oh. But people were saying how they put rice and like they'll put the soup over it. Oh yeah, and just like eat it with soup. So I haven't nailed the Spanish rice yet. But oh, you're supposed to eat it with Spanish rice. Yeah, so that's what Carlos was oh. eating. Oh. But my Spanish rice tastes like toast. I'm still learning how to make Spanish rice, Courtly. So okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it time? It's time. I don't know if we've like played them before. I think we have. We've played so many freaking cards together. Mm-hmm. I need new card games. You guys have any like card games we can play during mukbangs? Send them over. Would really appreciate it. No, don't be sad if she doesn't ever play them because that means she's already had them and she's already yeah. played them. Ready? Mm hmm If you became a leader of a country, what would the press say about you? She's fat. Whoa. <laughs> Damn, why did we have to get so mean? Because the press are mean. 
They are. They probably definitely come for my image. They would come for my hairline, my <laughs> gums. They would come for my hairline and my gums. They would definitely just come for my double chin. They're mean. That's fine. I'll if, live. If everyone had to decide on their career path at age six, what would your life look like now? I'd be a flight attendant. Oh my god, you're way smarter than me. Why, what were you? I think I wanted to be like, just like something generic. No, no, oh my god, not like the job is generic. <laughs> no, but like, I just wanted to be like what every other six year old wanted to be. Like a doctor? Like a singer. Oh, oh, oh. You know when you're like young, you're like, I want to be a yeah. superstar. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, so I wanted no, to. No, I would have too. I'm just thinking at six, I remember distinctively, I had just gone to Korea and I told Oma. I was like, oh, I want to be just like the pretty ladies. That is the Ju cucumber. Juicy. I think I went through that when I was little too. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. And Korean Air a freaking flight attendant. Well, back then they were called stewardess. Oh, really? Steward? Yeah. But I think it, be, it came out to be like sexist or something. They were always the pretty people. Oh, but the Korean Air flight attendants were beautiful. Mm. Their skin, their hair, and I wanted to be them so bad. Flight attendants look so clean. Well, they gotta be. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. Like they look so clean. Like, like not put together. Not yeah. one piece of hair is sticking up. Mm-hmm. I admire it. Oh, sorry. No, don't worry. Oh. Not enough. It's it literally gave us a blank card and said write your own question above. When you were a child, how did you imagine adulthood and how does that compare to reality? That's sweet. I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> and welcome to the second half of the video. Hello. We're fully fed. Yeah. We're energized. We're really just talking. It, welcome to the talk show. Um. What was the question? I thought you said it was a good question. You know my memory is bad. When you were a child, uh -huh. how did you imagine adulthood and how does that compare to reality? Um, it's exactly what I imagined. Really? I really, okay, the only difference is I did think I was gonna get married sooner. Oh. But didn't we all? Oh, it's okay. Baby, cheer, <laughs> cheer, baby girl, Jane, Jane, eat, baby. What the fuck happened to this cucumber? Holy shit. Wait, there's a fruit that looks like this. What is this? Like a pumpkin? Like a long like pumpkin? A zucchini, mom. I don't know what zucchinis you're eating, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you really thought it was going to be like this? I really did think um, that I was going to get married earlier. I remember when I met Michelle eh, when we were 19. I was, uh, no, I was 20 and Michelle was 19. Mm -hmm. I've been my tongue. <laughs> I was 20, Michelle was 19. I remember when we would like talk about our future. Yeah. I really thought I was gonna be married at by 25 mm -hmm. or 24. Mm -hmm. I got married at 28. 28? Yeah, in 2021. Mm, yeah. 28? Oh no, mom, you know I suck at math. Why you always do this to me? <laughs> I know it's only three numbers away, but well, how long how long what anniversary did you guys pass? Two? Yes. So 28. Yeah, jeez, mom. <laughs> so I got married at 28. I met my husband at 24. Um, I really thought I was going to be married at 25. That was really the only difference. Um, I, I definitely did not choose this as a career. Mm. I never really thought this could be something. Like I'm class, of, my, I graduated high school in 2012. So did Michelle. Like at that time, YouTube wasn't a job. Like now when you ask like, teenagers what they want to be when they grow up it's crazy to me that they say they want to be a youtuber because i'm like that wasn't really a a job no not option at all. when we were growing up yeah um so it's definitely sorry no you're good you're more shame on that it was like oh yes. you're going like an art direction yes and i still i still see people shame what we do for a living mm -hmm. which is wild to me but it's like we pay our taxes you know we're just like a we're regular, living life yeah we have we this is actually a job like yeah. clearly um so that's like the only difference is i didn't really think i would do this and to be honest um another thing that's kind of different 
Uh, it's like I thought I would have kids by now. Oh. I really did think that I would have kids by 30. Um, but things change and things happen and we ha obviously push it back. We have mm -hmm. pushed it back now. But yeah, there's some differences. But mostly like I, I really thought like I'd be married in a house. Definitely okay. didn't think I have four dogs either. Oh my God, that's different. Mm, that's true. Yeah. That's true. You know how you said you thought you were going to get married by 25? Yeah. And you met Carlos at 24? Yeah. Did you think that you were going to, like, I know that you now is going to say you needed the time to grow with each other, mm -hmm. but did you, like, in the moment, hope that you were going to get married quicker? Wow. Do you see that tiny little crab? Ooh, it's freaking me out. <laughs> Hello, mister. Hello, <laughs> mister. What was it, mom? Sorry. Did you think that, like... Did you ever like want to get married quicker? No. Oh, you were like, you just loved every phase of your relationship? Marriage is a big step for me. Mm. I did not want to settle down and, and commit to someone, even though like I wanted to marry him, but thank God I was logical. Really? Yeah, it was very logical oh, in that sense. Cool. Yeah. Now, like, did we move in after, like, five months together? Yes. <laughs> but, like, those things can be reversed. If mm -hmm. I don't like you and we get into fights and we break up, like, I'm leaving mm -hmm. or you're leaving. That's... Are you okay? You're biting into a, like, a big-ass rock or something. Let me see. Is it your tooth? Mm -hmm. Let me see. No, it's a like sand. Oh. Damn, Pippa. Is that tooth? No. <laughs> yeah, like things are reversible, you know, like you move in with a boyfriend, you don't like him. Okay, yeah, you got to break the lease, but oh my God, it's not like a divorce. You know That's how expensive so divorces true. are? And it's like, okay, people like get into marriages and like sometimes that also doesn't work out. And then you have kids involved. Now you have little humans to think about. Yeah. Of, to think about. So I was very logical in that sense, even though I was head over heels in love. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Man. We don't need to talk about that again. Thank God it worked out. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Wait, your turn. No, I lived in La La Land when I was a child. I remember you used, You thought you'd be married by 23. I thought I was going to get married by 23. But do you, now that you look back, do you think 23 was early? Are you kidding me? No. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, oh, yes, okay. Yes, yes. Oh. oh, 23 was so early. What did I know at 23? Yeah. I mean, I think I would have been so lucky if I had found my forever at 23. Like, yeah. those of you who did get married young. Yeah. But, like, me seeing 23, Michelle, from where I am now. Yeah. Never. I would never have been able to do it. But, no, I, I thought adulthood would be, like, so much nicer. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I think we all think that. And then reality hits you. I feel like everyone goes through, like, a pinnacle point where they're, like, <gasps> I, I I need to grow up now. Hey, take your time. It's okay. There's really no rush growing up. There really isn't. And you can still, I think when I was little, I was like, when you're older, you're just bored. Like, you hate your life and you're bored. Uh -huh. But it's not like that. You get to have fun with money. There are pros and cons of being an adult. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yes. I would much rather be an adult than a child, though, I will say. Mm -hmm. In what ways are you privileged um, let's see. I think just being able to like live in this country and have the freedom that we do is a big pri privilege. Mm -hmm. Um, cause like there are other countries in the world where like you can't do anything you want. You can't have a voice. Okay. That just got really deep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm privileged because I have a healthy mom and dad. Yeah. Yeah. We. I have healthy parents. I have a healthy family. I think um, these days also, like, just being able to, like, eat the seafood boil is a privilege. Why do you look like you're going to cry? Well, I feel like I cried about everything. I'm freaking tired. I'm emotional. I'm just so Is grateful. this normal? Those of you who turned 30, <laughs> is this normal? Because this is my next year, and I'm, like, scared. I just cry over her. She <laughs> does. She really does. Okay. I'm just really grateful. <gasps> What's something you could do five years ago that you can't do today? Walk. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um, Be boy crazy. Oh, shit. I feel like that was like a zing, you know? A zing. 
something I can do five on um, drink. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. What happens five to us ago. when we turn 30, we can't drink anymore? Oh, five years ago is exactly when I stopped drinking, 24. Oh my god, like, I'm looking back and, like, we used to go out and, like, we would drink all, we would pregame crazy, you guys, because this girl would be like, Mom, we need to oh save money. Oh my god, oh my god, yo, you guys know the yeah, word. Yeah, yes, yeah. Like, get I don't know anything, like, like, 30 Michelle, bucks. Michelle taught me everything. Yeah. I didn't know anything, so Michelle was like, Mom, you gotta be here at 9, we gotta pregame, and then 11, we call the Absolutely. Uber, and then we party until 2, and then we go to Denny's. Yes. And I'm like, I remember, like, for your birthday, it was, like, that big birthday, the... Uh -huh. I don't remember. Five years ago. Yeah. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. So that birthday, I remember like, I worked all day. I was in LA. I was in Santa Monica. Oh, that one. No, 23. That was 23. Oh, that was 23. I remember like, I lived in like Westminster at the time, drove to Santa Monica yes. at like 8 o'clock in the morning, worked all day mm -hmm. until like 3 or 4, yep. sat in traffic back to Huntington Beach, got glammed. Pre-game like crazy, went to the bar, stayed out until three or two mm -hmm. or three. Mm -hmm. Then we came back to the hotel. We woke up at like seven or eight to check out, and then I went home and got ready for her second birthday bash. Yeah. And I was like pooped. I could never yeah. do that now. No. Well, first in general, that's a lot. In general, mom, that's a lot for even twenty-three. But I had the energy to do it. Oh mom. yes. That's the difference. Yes. Now it's like after Michelle leaves me for like a whole day of hanging out. Like today she was here all day. Yeah. Tomorrow yeah. I need a break. I'm yeah. not talking to anyone. Oh yeah, my social battery. Even though I love every minute, I don't even think about like what's tomorrow. But I go home and I'm like drained. I'm like, oh my god, that was so good. But don't don't talk to me. Nobody talked to me. Like, Sometimes October? I feel bad because Maiden sees me, but Maiden hasn't been with me all day. Um, so he'll come in to talk, and I'm like, <sighs> like I, get, I don't have the energy to. Yeah. I'm like, I just need to recharge. That's but true. I just let him talk. I'm like, just talk. Just talk. I'm listening. I swear. Social battery. I, you're so right yeah. on that. I also think like I, I really enjoy being alone more. Yeah. I mean, you were already like that. I feel like, but back then I was more willing to go places and like go out with you. Oh yeah. But then yeah, yeah. as I get older, I just really like, to me, the perfect, like, oh, I love this. Like the perfect day to me is like, I do nothing and I just stay home. I love staying home. Yeah. Those <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Things were also cheaper five years ago, man. Oh, tell me about it. Hey, gas hit three ninety nine today at Arco. And that is <laughs> and that is an example of growing up, man. Okay? Which means Costco is cheaper. Huntington Beach Costco. Oh god. Go to the one on Edinger that has to be three like eighty nine. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, do you remember Gas Buddy? The app. Girl, we still checking what you mean. I look good. I look for a good deal on gas, man. I fill my gas tank up like once a month. I refuse to fill up gas over here because it's so damn expensive. I know. That's why I don't leave the house. Yeah. She only fills up her gas when she goes to me. Anyway. Once a month, I yep. fill up my gas tank. Yep. How many more are we doing? I don't know. As many clams as left. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what is one? No. Do you don't like the question? No, I don't. I don't like that one either. You don't like that one? Yeah. <clears throat> no. She cries all the time. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, why do I cry so much these days? I'm not too sure. Like, you'll Maybe be like, Mom, you I value you. life more? Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. <gasps> if every human came with a warning label, what would yours say? Um... Um, um, intimidating but sensitive. Mm. Huh? Oh, no, no, no. I take that back. That's That would be my second warning. Okay. My first warning would be, looks like an extrovert, extrovert, but is an extreme introvert. That's mine. Because I'm so, like, outgoing with you on camera and, like, in real life we are. But I'm actually a really big introvert. You are. Like, I, I, you are. yeah. And we go back and forth. Yeah. Because, like, sometimes when we talk to people, you would never guess that we are introverted. Yeah. Because we're all, like, happy and chipper to be there. I'm introvert in a way where it's, like, I don't like 
like leaving the house. Yeah. And she really met her other half. My husband hates leaving the house. <laughs> it is insane. Yeah. I don't even know what I would say, like, as a warning label. Mm. Looks nice, but will kill. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You will kill. Yeah. You don't want to be on Michelle's bad side. No, uh -huh. I'm very nice. She's and very I am, nice. And I have a good like five chances to give you. Those are a lot. Dude, I will say you're so patient with people. I am. They like, they got to fuck up like five times. Me, it's like you fuck up once, done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's way done. different. I'm like, you can, fight, you can fuck up because I believe in people changing. I'm pro people changing. Right. But if I've given you five times to change and you can't, then you got a problem. So bye. You're so you're so much better at just. Cause I'm like, I don't have energy. These clams are delicious. I feel like I keep coming. Do I do I read this one, Mom? Did you like this question? Oh. Oh yeah. If you could give your parents advice on how to raise you, what would you tell them? Um. I wish my mom would have let me live life a little bit more growing up, but I understand why she didn't, and maybe it's a good thing she didn't because I was such a rebel. So you just said it and then you took it back? Yeah, I took it back. Oh, you know, but like, do you think that maybe if she had been more lenient, you wouldn't have been a rebel? Possibly. Because you would have had her trust. I understand limitations for kids growing up because you don't know shit when you're a teenager. You think you do, but you really don't. And I didn't understand that until now that I'm older and I have little nieces and nephews. And I'm like, you think you know, but you don't. But I think like being too strict is also not good. Like my mom was extremely strict with me growing up. And I kind of wish like, like when I listen to your childhood, I'm like, oh my God, like you were able to like, leave the house and like do things with your friends. Yeah. Like I was not allowed. Yeah. Like I stayed home on the weekends. If I hung out with Brooke one weekend that I wasn't allowed out of the house the next weekend. Like once a month was the most I was allowed. Yeah. I didn't know, like you I didn't have- really strict. Yeah, and like now that I grow, grow, now that I'm grown and I'm thinking about having children of my own, I understand why they didn't love the whole sleepover idea mm -hmm. because I also yeah, yeah, feel yeah. a certain way with this society about sleepovers. But like, you know, you know, if you choose to have kids one day, like our kids could have sleepovers because I trust you and mm -hmm. your family. And like, I kind of wish like that was allowed with me. It's like I was friends with Brooke for so long. Yeah. And like, I kind of wish Brooke and I were allowed to have those sleepover memories or like go on trips and things. So that was the only thing that I kind of, I just felt like I was, and I felt like that's kind of why I was more like a late, uh, a bloomer. late bloomer yeah. in college. Like I was very naive when I started college because I didn't get to experience how to be like an adult mm. in high school, like how to like be free minded because I was so controlled by my mom. Right, right, right. And my mom's not a bad person. No, 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 no. You guys, the best lady in the world, like she, she is such an amazing you mother. Have to, yeah, you have to realize that when it's coming from an immigrant parent who yeah. knows nothing about the country, even she though was they, scared. yeah, she was like, scared for me. How is she gonna find you if something happens? Yeah. You know, it's just so much to deal with. I, I also definitely think that I had to grow up much faster than my friends. Like by like mm -hmm. by like eighth grade, I was already like reading the bills, you guys, and yeah. like figuring out how to pay. So calling thing. insurance, trying to figure out why something. It's an went wrong. it's an immigrant it growing is. up situation. It is. I'm yeah. sure a lot of you guys understand. So that's the only thing. What about you? I think I would just teach my parents I will the advice I would give them is just um, I like don't know how to word it word bomb it girl do it it's just don't doubt don't make it like known where like the child you're doubting your child Mm. Don't make it seem like it's not a, she's not enough. Oh yeah. Because you'll just grow up with it forever. You know. Like you're not good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Like and even though they're the whole reason they do it is because they know I'm good enough. Yes. To protect you. To protect me. And they're like, you can do it. I believe you can do it. But it's like it's a little twisted. 
twisted somehow. I think that immigrant parents have um, such a hard time expressing that they care and that they love you because they didn't get it in return. No, like, yeah. I mean, you know my mom's story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom, my, my mom's biological mom gave my mom up when she was born. So my mom, like, she, like, was loved by her foster mom. Oh, you guys. Never mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> mom, what's wrong with us? Okay, hang on. Oh. <laughs> get, the, get the hot ice all over the Okay, wait, next question. Come on, you might be like, what is wrong with us? It's because we're adults now. Oh, we get it now. No, but I noticed we can't talk about our moms. I know, because our moms are our moms. Our moms are our heroes. As much as they've like tormented us, they're our yeah. moms. I think I'll make it through. But anyways, when my mom was born, her her biological mother you gave You see how the voice went aggressive? <laughs> I have to go through this. Okay, go. Her biological mother gave her up. Um, and this other woman came in that that is the grandma that I know but that's my mom's foster mom and my mom's foster mom raised her um, her entire life and so my mom although was raised by a really nice mother just didn't know love like that the affection um, yes. stuff like that and then I think like you know, she did the best that she could but I think her strictness when I was younger came from fear Yes. Fear of not knowing that yes. like, something's going to happen to me mm -hmm. on the street. Mm -hmm. Like, she doesn't know how American life is, even though, like, obviously we've lived here for a long mm -hmm. time. But, mm -hmm. like, you know, I was her baby as well. Yeah. So. And, you know, it wasn't as easy back then. I just want to say, we had, like, flip phones. It wasn't like GPS was around. You like, can track me. You can't track them. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's it's a whole different. For sure. Yeah. I was, I don't know who I was talking to, but. They were, we were just like talking, I think it was Maiden, but we were talking about how like if Alma wanted to meet up with a friend, you would have to be like, this is the time, this is where we're meeting, show up. Yeah, literally I was like, I would ask my mom and my brother like, hey, like in two weeks on Friday, <laughs> like can you drop me and Brooke off yeah. at the school at seven and yes. our mom will pick us up. And then in between, if you got kidnapped, you don't really know. No. Because a lot of us just got unlimited texting. Oh yeah. Like that's how old we are. Mm, I know. We've lived like, a life. Kids these days, like Maiden probably doesn't understand. But Sophia has no idea. Oh, no idea. Yeah. Maiden only knows because of me. Mm hmm But Sophia. Sophia Kim Sung? Done. Sophia clueless. Kim Sung clueless. <laughs> okay, let's move on. They will that. never get it. And it's so insane. It's yeah. crazy how much technology has changed. Even from when we were little. Yeah. Like I just think it's crazy. Mom, even from 2012. Yeah. Like, that was when we graduated high school. Oh my gosh, like, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, the world has developed nicely. Because the, I just want everyone to know, it was the iPhone 4 when we graduated. Because I got that right after I graduated. I got the red iPhone 5 or 4? 4. 4? Mm -hmm. That shit was ugly. <laughs> Why did you get the red one? Oh. So, so back then, T-Mobile did not have iPhones. Yes, because you guys had sidekicks and so, no one else had sidekicks. So in order to have an iPhone, you had to buy it unlocked from a third party and figure it out yourself. AKA jailbroken. Yes. So then I had a friend on Facebook that was selling an iPhone 4 in red and I was like, what the heck? Red, beautiful. What the heck? <laughs> so beautiful. I, so I got it for my uh, 19th birthday. Oh, they got it for you? Yes, I oh, got nice. it for my 19th birthday nice. present. And yeah, and then after that, I just upgraded myself. And then I stopped upgrading. Mm -hmm. I was so excited about my iPhone 4 because I got it right after I graduated, right before my high school best friend and I went to. So you have the pictures? Do you still have those? Somewhere. Okay, that's something that I regret. Hmm. Like, your parents would be like, keep that, it's memorable. I know. I wish that I kept everything from middle school and high school. You know, at one point I threw away all my elementary school yearbooks. Why? How stupid am I? Because you don't cherish those things when you're younger. Why? I only have my high school yearbook. I don't have any of my elementary <gasps> school yearbooks. I have all my high, my, my elementary, my middle school, and I'm not only let me get my senior year. 
Yeah, I didn't have um, high school mom. High school was too expensive, so I only bought my senior year. Oh, okay. So yeah, so normal. we're the same. We're, oh, okay. Mom, we're immigrant. Uh, like, immigrant kids. Yeah, Oma was like, no. <laughs> yeah, school pictures, never allowed. I just took home the, the sample and that had the word sample on it, and my mom hung down the wall. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh She's like, you don't need pictures. I know what you look same like. Same thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. So true. I was so mad, though. Why? Because Oma took all of Maiden's. Every year. That's fucked up. Tell me how that works when I'm the first child. Yeah. This usually the second one gets like Yeah. See, I can't really have the babies. <laughs> I know. But I my know. mom got to experience me like in America. Yeah. I'm her first kid in America, so that's yeah. why. That's a big deal though. Yeah. Good times. I would never redo my Child, I really like being 30. What's the like youngest age you would go back to right Like now? if I could rewind? Yeah. Like 27. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, realistic answer? Yes, uh, realistic answer. It has to be before 25. No, it has to be before 20. Okay. Oh, uh, mom, I don't want to redo high school. I didn't like high school. I said before 20. You want me to go further than I want to go as close as okay. That's what I'm saying. So anything. Nineteen. Okay. <laughs> really though? I would do that. Would you? Yeah, let me redo nineteen. But then does does that mean I, do I get my career and my friend and my husband? Like am I guaranteed everything? I just get to do it differently. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, okay, nineteen. Yeah. 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 Me too. 19. Yeah. I met you at nineteen, so yeah. Yeah, so like if I wasn't guaranteed that, I no. No. I like know. if I had to like Possibly re-meet a man and not marry my husband. No, I'm not doing that. Especially if I know and I'm not allowed to be friends with them. Imagine. Like we are guaranteed. I would friends. chase your ass down. <laughs> hey! We're friends in the future. Oh, that'd be so sad. I cannot even believe that we went to the same school and we did not ever Do you think we had classes together? But didn't know. Yeah. Like there was an invisible string. Yeah. I love that word. I feel like you're making tiny little sushis. You're cool. Thank you. Wait, my rice is so bomb. Yeah, I ate it all. Um, there possibly could be a chance where we were in the no, mom. Hmm? Look at us. <laughs> we would have yeah. known. You know what? Yeah, because right when I went to history, before we even walked into the class, I marked her. You knew, huh? You scary, scary. Did girl. you know that? Isn't that weird? That you knew that I was going to be your best friend in the entire world? I literally, I'm not kidding you guys. I was sitting there and this girl with long hair walks w walks by and then squats and sits on the wall too. That mini little wall. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, you sit here in the bed, uh, the classroom right yeah. there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she sat down with her big ass Michael Kors bag and I was like, I think she's in my class. I, I sat like, next mm -hmm. to you? You sat like a few feet away from me. Michelle remembers this more than I do. And you were in your little um, uh, Chipsy outfit. That was a brand or something. Chipsy Warrior was the brand? I don't know, but it was all black inside and you wore like the burgundy kimono with the black booties. How did she remember? With that, the long black hair. Just to let you know, that picture is still on Instagram. It is. You can find it that day. Yeah. yeah. And she sat there. And I was like, damn, I'm not gonna stare at her. But I was like, hmm, something feels weird. She's so pretty. No. Just pretty hair? Probably. <laughs> probably. I probably really liked your hair. But then we went inside, but and you sat all the way over there, and I sat all the way over there. And I was like, hmm, maybe not. And then I thought you dropped. But she was busy. She was getting busy. I was getting dick. <laughs> and then came back blonde, you guys. I came back, chopped my black hair, had short, bouncy blonde hair. And then the pink glitter toes. Purple. And that's, okay, well, like, I don't, were you painting on them? Like, I mean, I was a little curious as to why you got glitter. And then she, we're talking glitter. And then she chose me. We chose each other. You know, there was actually like a third partner. We're just gonna forget about the guy. Yeah, I don't even remember who he was. And then, and then we exchanged numbers. Yep. And then she bailed on the first hangout. Okay, I will say Miss Michelle Choi is a little bit aggressive at first. I am. She does chase really hard, and I was, like, frightened by it, but then I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm glad. Mom, I think for our 10 year next fall, yeah. do you want to go back to our classroom where we met and take a picture? Oh, we should. All oh, those college cool. students are going to think we're freaking weird. Do it in the middle when like they're in class. Yeah, it's going to be fine. The, I know the door. I do too. I think I know the No, I know the door for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Mom, you're going to freak out. When I took Maiden there, mm -hmm. um, everything's so different. I bet. It's been like They years. redid so many of the... Wow, I just made like mochi. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, they've like built so many new buildings. Wow. Oh, wait. I hope they didn't get rid of our classroom. I'm a Sue. <laughs> I hope that... Oh, my God. I remember. I do, too. That You guys, that picture is still on. Aww. Because I used to... I used to take um, outfit photos for Instagram yes. before I, mean, I was like really into that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Back when I was skinny, you know? And then, and then, yeah, I don't remember what happened after that. I think, um, I think you asked to hang out, but we were still such new friends. Yeah, and she had another friend, a very close friend at the time that, I mean, no, I know, I know she was a fake ass, but you really liked her at the time. Yeah, she was I didn't a know. Friend at the time. Like I said, I was stupid when I was. Yeah, she's fake. Anyway. She's mean. She was mean and fake and. Whoa, 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 okay. I chose you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I think our third meeting, or our third time like seeing each other, uh -huh. we went to go eat cake and crab. No. It was very soon. What about fall? I thought we had fall a few times before we No, had... cake and crab was first. Cake and crab was the first meal, like big meal we had together. Was that when you lined up your shrimp or no? Yeah. Wow, you have good memory. I know, like, you took a picture of me eating in and out That was the second time. How do you remember this? Third time was... How can I forget when a girl literally goes, Hi, can you take a picture of me eating in and out Yeah. I was... And I literally was like, I don't know how to take photos. And you were like, it's okay. Just hold it like this. And I was like... Oh, you guys, man. I was at the very, very beginning stages of trying to grow on social media, okay? You know? Mom has to be grateful, Ed. You know? She took it seriously. <laughs> That's for sure. I remember that. I still have that picture on my Instagram. There's a lot of pictures up. Yeah, you just have to scroll through the 5,000 photos. <laughs> of course. But it's, re but it <laughs> but it's really cool because if you do have the time to like stalk me and yeah. scroll through my Instagram, you see the different chapters in my life. Mm -hmm. Like you really do see like when things really changed for me, like things like that. I think it's cool. I'm so sad that you uh, archive your photos. Nobody gotta see any though. <laughs> Mom! That's a useless but, photo. But, yeah. but screenshot, okay? Don't get rid of them. No, no, no. They stay in the yeah, archive. Because I wish we had more of our old photos until you oh. lost your computer. Hey, did not lose. It just broke down on me. I don't know what to tell you. I'm so sad because Michelle kept all of her photos. She had the most photos. I had all of it. And now we just have what's on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. We had I a know. lot. Mom. I know. We had a lot. I a have lot. some videos on Facebook of us. Oh, I'm so mad that I don't have those. Yeah, we don't have any, yeah. any photos. We only have a few of when we were younger. We were babies. But, like, we looked the same, but we aged. Yeah, it's very weird. We're, like, an older version of us. Yeah. Which is what growing up <laughs> Yeah, but we look the same. Yeah, like the same. I'll try to find a few photos actually. I'll probably forget to put them on the screen, so you'll probably have to go look for yourself. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest, you know. Yeah, that's really nice of you to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it's really good to be honest. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go watch Squid Games. We mm -hmm. have three episodes. Yep. We love you guys so much. We do. Thank you for joining us. I think this mukbang is probably over an hour long. Sorry. But hopefully you ate a really good dinner mm -hmm. watching this mukbang. We mm -hmm. love hanging out with you guys and just chit-chatting. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to Michelle's channel as well. Oh, by the way, YouTube got rid of the channel thing. Did you notice that? Oh, no, I didn't. You know how like, we had each other's yeah, channel? Yeah, yeah. They got rid of it. Well, how rude. You can see it on the TV, but it doesn't show up on the computer. That's so interesting. Yeah, I just noticed that because I thought you removed me, man. And I was like, damn. She went after me. <laughs> she went after me. I was like, damn. It's no. Like, it'd be like no. that. No. Yeah. I had my cousin on my you, you and, and, and Carlos. Yeah. yeah. It's gone. Well, what the you heck? see it on the TV, though. That's so weird. I, I don't know. As you guys know, I'm hosting a giveaway leading up to Christmas. I'm giving away $100 That's... that I can't 
join. But you should. She wants to join so much. You should just make a fake account and I'll block you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, if I block you, I block your actual account too. Oh yeah. Because Instagram is a thing. No, no, you guys. You guys should join. Join the giveaway. I'll list all the information in the description bar down below. But if you guys have been keeping up with the channel, you know what the rules are. I love you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment. Subscribe to my vlog channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. All that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.